Hi, this is catsandcarp.com and we've got another product review for you. This is the Fox FX line bucket here. As the name implies, this is a line bait bucket. So this thing is a lifesaver. So let me explain why. I like to fish with dip baits, things like this dynamite marine halibut. Um, flavored dip. It's it's pungent stuff. It smells like death and seafood. So if this container leaks into your car, your wife will disown you. This is uh, pretty pungent stuff. It'll ruin any tackle bag. It'll ruin any upholstery that it happens to uh, permeate. So when I'm transporting this around all day, when I'm fishing, I'm not always as careful as I should be with closing the lid tightly. That's where the line, uh, the waterproof impermeable lining of the Fox FX line bucket comes in handy. If your dip baits or uh, your or, um, uh, your cord goo or any of these liquid attractants you use, if they leak in your bucket, you're fine. You just dump everything out, you wash, hose it down with a garden hose, you're good to go. But if you have an unlined bucket and this leaks and it drips through and gets on the seat of your car, or gets in your trunk, that's not coming out. You're in trouble. So a few extra bucks, you can get the higher quality lined bucket and you can save yourself a lot of money down the road. It saved my neck on many occasions. But besides that, it's a just a great sturdy all around uh, bucket. As you can see, I've just got tons of ground baits. Uh, I've got uh, lots of boilies, pellets. Got some pop-ups, some more trout pellets, ground bait my uh, little uh, ground bait ball makers got some goo in here some more pop-ups some pocket pellets and a whole bunch of odds and ends it's just rolling around in the bottom so this i've been using this thing for about oh, a year now and it's just held up really well um, doesn't doesn't get too stinky and it uh, keeps the odor in actually quite well. I mean, this doesn't smell super fabulous when all these boilies and ground baits and and uh, liquid attractants sit in the back of your car on a 90 degree day. It, it's it can bake pretty well. This thing zips shut. You don't smell it. Wife doesn't mind. And uh, you forget to zip it shut. Yeah, you'll, you'll notice it real quick. So uh, not just keeping the, the mess in, it keeps the smell in pretty good too when you are uh, got in the trunk of your car. It's got these uh, handles there, we got foam on them, which is nice because, you know, this is a pretty big bag. It, when uh, fully loaded, it weighs a bit, doesn't cut into your hands. And the zippers are high quality. And they, like I said, I've had it for a year. Zippers never give me an ounce of trouble. So heavy duty material, holds up real well. The bottom is this uh, kind of hard plastic formed uh, bottom and uh, it compresses down to whatever size. So when you're loading it up with stuff, um, if it's empty, it packs away really nice. So at any rate, it's one of my favorite uh, little bits of uh, luggage that I take with me. Uh, anytime I need to bring extra bait, this is my uh, go-to bucket. It's uh, great for carrying all your glug pots and anything that's particularly pungent. And frankly, if you're out cat fishing, this is a great thing to carry cut bait in. You know, chicken liver, cut bait, chopped up shad, dead fish, earthworms, all those, those wonderful uh, catfish baits that are absolutely disgusting and make everything reek. Throw it in this thing, zip it up, you won't smell it, and uh, you can always pull out the liner and, and wash it down really good. So it's a great bag for catfishing and carp fishing, and uh, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.